Welcome back to Chicago Independent Television. Chicagoans have taken to the streets in huge numbers to protest the 2014 Israeli bombardment in Gaza. Here is a report of those protests. The media hardly pays attention, and those living thousands of miles away in Gaza cannot hear our voices over the sounds of drone strikes. Can the Israeli government hear our cries? Do they care? The answer is no. In the world we live in today, dominated by capital pursuit, the power of the dollar sign carries more weight than do the cries of a thousand protesters. Make no mistake, while ideology is driving the occupation and the siege, it is money that enables the perpetuation of Israeli apartheid. I am sick and tired of listening to your one-sided reporting. It's an occupation. The Holocaust happened to the Jews, and now they're doing it right back to the Palestinians. I think that's completely wrong. Right now, it, it, right now, it always seems that the media is trying to portray um, the conflict or so-called conflict as an as a balanced, equal fight. Um, it is not. There is an oppressor, and there's 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 clearly an oppressor and an oppressed. Um, it seems as though the media is biased always um, towards uh, towards the Israeli government. Um, this is due to multiple factors. Uh, but we're here, you know, we're here today to pressure, pressure the media, pressure, you know, uh, U.S. citizens to take a stand and say that, you know, the, this this news that we're watching, we need to be hearing about what's going on. And we need to be hearing the Palestinian story and the Palestinians' narrative. It's been going on for years. Obviously, you obviously know that. Um, Palestine's been under attack. People have been losing houses. Lands have been taken over. I mean, it's gotten to this far, and actually right now what's going on over there is probably the worst that we've seen ever. The media reports that Israeli forces have more than hit more than 800 targets. That was up the other day, so probably it's over 1,000 by now. And they're hitting hospitals, schools, mosques, and homes, especially homes. Human rights groups state that the significant targeting of Palestinian homes is a continuation of something called the Dahiyya Doctrine. The Dahiyya Doctrine was started in the 2006 Lebanon War. It was a, something that Israel started to cause mass and excessive civilian casualties that is blatantly against international law, and they are continuing it in Gaza right now. We've all heard of the Kaweri family and Khan Yunus, who had gathered on the roof of their home to protect it from a missile strike, and Israel bombed it anyway. Eight members of that family were killed. A high-ranking military officer told a Haaretz newspaper in Israel that jet planes don't care, and jet pilots don't care if there are people present in the house. If the house is targeted to be destroyed, they will bomb it anyway. And here's his quote. We will take down these homes, he said. Um, the, if these people, like the Kawari yesterday, try to confront a plane in the air and the pilot signals that the plane's going to blow up the house, get out, because that house will fall. And we pray for those people. We pray for our Palestinian brothers and sisters, and we pray for our own Ahmed Hamad, who was at our rally last Saturday. And he's here today, and he learned on Tuesday that six members of his family were killed in a similar fashion.